What's up guys, Triz here, and in today's video, I'm going to show you how to get better FPS in Call of Duty Warzone. So, stick by and uh, enjoy the video. First thing you're going to want to do is open your Blizzard launcher. Now, once you're under Call of Duty Modern Warfare, uh, you're going to want to go to Options, which is right under the Call of Duty Modern Warfare logo, and then go to Show in Explorer. Open the Call of Duty Modern Warfare folder, scroll down until you find modernwarfarelauncher.exe, and modernwarfare.exe. Both of these files we're gonna edit, so uh, let's get started. So right click and go to properties, go to compatibility, and you should see a settings box. It should say disable full screen optimizations and run this program as an administrator. You're gonna wanna click both of these and then click the change high DPS settings, high DPS scaling override, select this option, click okay and apply. You're gonna wanna do the same exact thing to modernwarfare.exe, right click properties, compatibility, disable, Run this program, override, okay, apply, okay, and you're done. You're still within the Blizzard launcher. You're gonna wanna click on the top left where it says Blizzard, click settings, scroll down until you find when I click X at the top of the window, it should be defaulted to minimize. Click on exitbattle.net. When I launch game, exit battle.net completely. What this does is whenever you close the launcher, it's going to close it and stop running in the background completely. And whenever you launch a game, it's also going to close the launcher. So you're not, your resources aren't being used running the something you don't need in the background. You're going to want to scroll down, advanced settings. This will be checked. Use browser hardware acceleration when available. What this does is while you're using the battle, uh, the, uh, a game like Warzone or World of Warcraft, for example, or even why you have the battle.net launcher open. Uh, it will be using your browser hardware acceleration when it doesn't need to. So uncheck that and then click done and you'll, you will have to restart your, uh, your launcher. But after that, you're done with the launcher and then you can go ahead and boot into the game. In game, you're going to want to click on Warzone zone and click play. And at the very bottom left, you'll see options, click on options and then go to the graphics tab, just to the right of general. You're going to want to make sure your display mode is on full screen. Like we said earlier, full screen is the best for gaming. Screen refresh rate, this is what my monitor is. Your monitor might be different, so make sure you look up what your monitor's refresh rate is and um, set it to that. Render resolution, for me I have this at 100. Uh, you're gonna want this at 100 or your game's gonna really start looking bad. So if you're having struggles with anything after this tutorial, you're still getting bad FPS, you're still getting stutters or anything like that, Maybe come back and lower this down, but it is really going to make your game look like trash Under advanced you're gonna to want to make sure your resolution is set to your monitors native resolution aspect ratio automatic V-sync disabled custom frame rate limit make sure like I said, this is not my monitors refresh rate um, Set it to whatever you want, but for me I have it at my monitors refresh rate Nvidia highlights disabled Texture resolution high. Now, since I am a content creator, I do have this set to high, but if you want the best performance, make sure this is set to very low. But for me, like I said, it's set to high. Texture resolution low, or texture filter, excuse me. Particle quality low, bullets, impacts, and sprays. Now for me, like I said, content creator, and I, I kind of like to see where I'm getting shot from. So I keep this at, uh, I keep this enabled. Tessellation disabled. Shadow map resolution low, cache spot shadows disabled, cache sun shadows disabled, particle lighting low, direct x ray tracing disabled. Guys, make sure this is disabled. Your game will run like horse meat if this is on. Ambient occlusion disabled, SSR disabled, anti aliasing. Now, again, I am a content creator, so therefore my game needs to look half playable. So uh, for me, this is set at SMAA 2X. Uh, for you, you can set it to off or whatever you want, really. Um, but off is gonna make is gonna make your uh, game run smoother Depth of field disabled filmic shrink zero motion blur guys make sure this is turned off uh, Film grain set to zero once you're done with all of this click apply and you're good to close your game You're done with in-game settings once you've closed your game make sure on the bottom left to type in power click on the first power and sleep settings uh, Go down to related settings and click on additional power settings once you're here, this will pop up, choose or customize a power plan. Yours will probably be set on balanced or high performance, but you can unlock a secret setting that Windows has. All you have to do is type in 
uh, a line into the command prompt. So we can go ahead and do that. Bottom left again, type in CMD, uh, right click on command prompt, run as administrator, click on yes. Once you're here, um, you're gonna copy and paste um, a line that I have in my uh, description. So you can go ahead and go to my description, but I'm gonna open my command line that I have here. Close that, close that, okay. And once you're here, you can go ahead and press Control and V, that copy pastes. Now, what this does is it unlocks that performance plan that is in your power settings. Uh, this does not void any warranties. This does not uh, overclock your CPU, your GPU, nothing. All it is doing is using your CPU and GPU's full potential to run the best it can. That's all it does. It doesn't void anything or nothing like that. So once you, once you have this copy and pasted, you can go ahead and press insert and you can restart your power option setting and it will be there. And this is what it's going to look like. Uh, it provides ultimate performance on higher end PCs. It's not just higher end uh, PCs. This is on every PC. So guys, make sure you have this uh, selected. All right, guys, the next step you're going to want to do bottom left, you're going to want to type in percent T E M P percent percent temp percent right click. Uh, okay. And for me, I have some stuff in here. You might have more or less depending on how often you clear out your temporary files. Um, for me, like I said, I do, I try to do it once a day. Uh, if I don't do it once a day, I do it. Like I try to do it once or twice every single week. Uh, this is clears out excess dump files that your computer or any programs on your computer do not need whatsoever. So, uh, to get rid of these, click on anywhere in the file, click on control plus a, and then the delete key. Uh, this will pop up a uh, folder in use. All you have to do is do this for all current items, select that, and then press skip and then you're done. So you can close out that and then it puts it in your recycle bin. So all this here is in the recycle bin. This is all these files I have from um, a, a lot of stuff. So to this gets rid of this gets rid of it you're on your PC entirely. So again, press Control A, delete. Uh, are you sure you want to permanently delete these 34 items? Click yes, and that takes up a lot of space off of your PC that it could be using for whatever reason. So make sure you guys do that. That's really important. Uh, all right, guys. So that is going to do it for this tutorial. Um, if you noticed a big increase or even a small increase, um, let me know how much FPS did you gain from this? Um, if this helped you out in any way, please be sure to leave a like. It really helps for the YouTube algorithm to reach out to other people and help them as well. Uh, if this helped you, share it to your friends if you're having FPS issues or want more FPS in general. Um, this is guaranteed to give you FPS increase. This is not some gimmick. This is 100% true. This does help. And uh, I appreciate you guys for being here. Like I said, that command line for the ultimate boost um, will be in the description, so check there. Um, I do stream every single day on Twitch, twitch.tv slash itriz. I go live every single day at 6 p.m. Eastern time. I, I will be live when this video goes live, so I will hope I will see you guys there. Uh, make sure you guys follow me on that. And uh, give me some give me some ideas in the comments or in my Twitch. Let me know what you guys want more from, from me for Warzone. Um, Anyway, that's it. I hope you guys enjoy 